Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to have a 3D overview of a low voltage switchgear panel as you can see on the screen. And you are going to know about the different compartments that we have and what are the different equipments that we use in the low voltage switchgear panel. So let us quickly start with that. So what you can see on your screen, we have a simple incomer feeder uh, breaker panel. So this panel will be used as an incomer panel or can also be used as a feeder panel. Now, what is a feeder panel? Feeder panel simply is a panel which is supplying power to, you know, some other substation or some uh, different load that we have. And incomer could be, uh, this is the panel which will accept the incoming supply and hence the name incomer or feeder breaker section panel. And as you can see, this is how the panel looks. This is the front side of the panel and we have a door here. Then this is the left hand side, which is uh, blocked uh, by this metal sheet. This is the back portion again covered by the metal sheet and there are some ventilation ports there. And to the right hand side, you can see it's open, which means it is extensible. You can add more panels to the right hand side of this. Now this is just the breaker section panel so majorly it will have the breaker you can see the breaker here uh, now let us see what is inside that so here i am opening the panel now this website is publicly available i will put the link for this down in the description you can also go and check out the different 3d models that they have it's really good and useful so you can see uh, at the center we have the breaker compartment which is the heart of the panel and very very important component of low voltage switchgear now in low voltage switchgear most commonly we use air circuit breaker when we need to rupture the high capacity current so since this is an incomer panel uh, which we, we anticipate that it will have more current to interrupt that's why uh, air circuit breaker is used here and most commonly mccbs are also used for low voltage switchgear application depending upon the current that you need to break now these ACBs are capable of breaking the short time current up to 1050 kiloamps or up to some breakers can go up to 200 kiloampere. So the breaking capacity is huge here. And uh, this is the breaker panel. Uh, the good part about the circuit breaker in low voltage switchgear is that it comes with its own brain. That means its own relay, integrated relay. And you can make the different settings here uh, for the protection purpose. But when we go for medium or the high voltage circuit breaker, that's not the case. We need to have a dedicated relay for that. So that's the breaker section. On the top, you can see we have some blank space. Here we can mount some auxiliary equipment. Maybe it can have, uh, uh, you know, MCBs or um, surge protecting devices or some control devices and things like that can be adjusted here or maybe at the bottom part of the panel. If you go to the back side, you will see we have the bus bars. These are the main bus bar. And this design is what we call as the uh, rear side bus bar design. Now in that we have different option. We can have the top bus bar. We can have the bottom bus bar front or the rear side. This one is particularly the rear one because rear one offers certain advantages over the other options. So you can see these are the copper bus bars here and uh, we have r y and b and neutral also and this black portion what you can see is nothing but the current transformer to measure the current and it also supports the bus bar that we have now let me explore this view so that you get better idea of it so as i mentioned this is uh, the circuit breaker panel with integrated relay now in this we can have different option one option one is the fixed type circuit breaker which means the circuit breaker will be put inside the panel and it will remain as it is the second option that we have is a withdrawable option which uh, with which you can remove the circuit breaker as and when needed so in case if your existing breaker is not working well you can simply remove the breaker and replace it with some other breaker using the withdrawable capacity but if it is fixed uh, then there are a lot of things that needs to be done to replace the circuit breaker as as i mentioned uh, this are the main bus bar the horizontal bus bars are the main bus bar and then uh, these are the distribution bus bars secondary bus bars that you can see and this is where in between these two things we will be connecting our circuit breaker so the circuit breaker is also a four pole circuit breaker so we have r y b and neutral here right so we will be connecting circuit breaker in series 
so let's say this is the incoming of the circuit breaker and this is the outgoing and then at the bottom uh, we can connect the supply uh, to some other feeder or to some other thing uh, here and this is the frame of uh, the low voltage switchgear panel which is very very crucial low voltage switchgear the most crucial part is the bus bar uh, the heating management that we do uh, that is very very crucial so this is simple circuit breaker section panel incomer or feeder uh, now let us go and look at some other panels so this is also a feeder panel simple feeder panel but this comes with the withdrawable type uh, mccbs which you can remove as and when you need so this is how it looks and this is just an example for understanding purpose so this is also a rear bus bar arrangement panel you can see the bus bars are running from the rear side let us see what we have in here so all these modules that you see here all these are the mcbs which will be connected to some different different loads now mcbs uh, sorry mccbs not mcb mcbs will have smaller rating compared to the mccbs mccbs are having higher rating so uh, whenever we need to break little higher currents then we use mccbs in place of mcbs and we can connect maybe motors lightning load or uh, anything like that to these mccbs and you can see let me open it so all these uh, mccbs are withdrawable type that means you can remove it from the panel uh, and replace it as and when you want and also you can see uh, these panels are having knobs so you see uh, you have we have connected a rod here and then at the front we have a knob now from this knob we can simply operate this mccbs when required in this situation you need not to open uh, the panel door every time you need to operate uh, the uh, mccb so that's one of the convenient that we have and all these are withdrawable type that means you can remove it and place it back when you want or replace it when it is required now these are all coming with the different different capacities also in low voltage switchgear one of the important point is these separation forms so you can see these metal forms these are this is what we call as the separation forms now iec has uh, defined these forms as form 1 form 2 form 3 and form 4 now there are sub categories also in that now these forms plays a very crucial role in the safety of the person who is working in the vicinity of that and it is a uh, very very important concept in the low voltage switchgear design so that is the overview of the panel now of course there are tons of panel available as i mentioned i'll provide link for this uh, website in down in the description you can go and check it out the different different uh, panels it is really really uh, interesting to see and by the way if you are someone who is new to the low voltage switchgear or someone who is just starting their career in the low voltage switchgear or somebody who is you know just want to learn about the low voltage switchgear then we have created a dedicated course for you that is low voltage switchgear level one with this course you can master the essentials of low voltage switchgear at a at your own pace with this course you get 12 plus hours of content assignments note notes and much more things the course is completely self-paced you can learn at your own pace all the recordings will be available so you can learn as and when you want uh, delivered by the expert so uh, there are experts coming in with plus 18 plus years of experience who is uh, you know will help you understand the different concepts and it also comes with a seven day refund policy policy so in case if you find the course is not worth you can ask for a refund within the first seven days you get a virtual community you get lecture notes ppt assignments uh, live q and a sessions certificate of completion everything is covered in the course everything is covered in detail in this course so you see we have uh, five different modules in this course in the first module we start with building the foundation about the low voltage switchgear so we right we start from what is power system where do we need the low voltage switchgear what is the importance of low voltage switchgear we start with that so module one is dedicated for the foundation then in the module two we start by understanding the different technical terminologies of the low voltage switchgear which is defined by the iec standard which is accepted internationally so we will explain you the concepts defined by the standards and we will also look at the different common equipment that we use in the low voltage switchgear that complete understanding you will get in module two 
in module 3 which is dedicated to the configuration so you will understand what are the different types of panel we have uh, what is the separation forms what are the different bus bar configurations are there uh, that brief idea you will get in module 3 then module 4 which is completely dedicated to the different standards and the testing of the low voltage switch gear now you will first be introduced with the different international standards that are available for low voltage switch gear and then in the end we will talk briefly about what is type test what is routine test and what are the different tests that we perform module 5 once you have everything all the clear idea about low voltage fundamentals you will learn about the different careers opportunities that are there in the low voltage switch gear so to talk about this we will be having one expert uh, that's the interview we have taken with that expert and that interview access you will get in the module file so that uh, you get clear idea about what are the career options I have is there and what is the future looks like for the low voltage switchgear industry. So this is a comprehensive core covers all the fundamental things about the low voltage switchgear and that's why it is called as low voltage switchgear level 1. Now if you are electrical engineer or a student or maybe technician, field engineers, in industry newcomers or maybe you are switching career from one industry to another industry, this course is perfect for you because we have clubbed all the information into this one single course and you can access it as and when you want. And this comes with lifetime validity. So whenever you want, you can come to the course and access all the content. And we do have a special offer for you. So if you are the first 30 students, then you will be getting flat 30% off on the course price. I've provided the coupon codes for that down in the description. You can use those coupon codes and get flat 30% off on the course price. Please remember this offer is valid only for the first 30 entries. So once the 30 entries are done, the coupon code will not work. So make sure you check out the course and if you found it useful, definitely enroll in the course. Link for everything that we talked about so far is provided down in the description. Definitely go and check this out. So that is all for this video guys. Uh, I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.